Okay, welcome to my channel. Let's help you to unblock your screen, um, wiping the Screen Panther passcode or Google account to block in uh, that phone that you're able to use it. Please uh, remove SIM card and external memory card to save some files like picture or videos um, because this uh, process will really delete everything on your phone. Okay, so. Okay, you're gonna start. We're gonna use the, the home button, the volume up key, and the power key. Okay, uh, let's power this phone off. There you go. Okay, so and we're gonna press those three buttons together. And as soon as uh, the recovery button appear, uh, appear on the left tab side of the screen, uh, release power button. But continue holding the home button and the volume up. Okay, until you see the uh, Android logo appears, keep holding until you see another menu with blue letters and then release uh, home key and volume up. Ready? Okay, let's do it. Home button, volume up, and power key. Delete, power key, keep holding home and volume up. Hold, hold, and release. Okay, release uh, both keys. And now, using your um, volume down, let's scroll down and select Wipe Data Factory Reset. Okay, uh, power key is gonna be the Enter or OK. Press Power. The next step is asking you: Is uh, are you sure to delete all of this? Just say yes. Delete all user data power key for enter or ok and at this point is um, deleting all information stored in this phone like uh, google account, screen pattern ok the last step is automatically highlight the reboot system now ok so just and press power key the phone will power off and on again now you are able to get to the main menu of your phone and select your language, register email, Gmail account, start downloading applications. And this is a secure way to uh, delete any password stored on this phone. Uh, you are trying to sell it, uh, it's a secure way to uh, delete your information in order not to get to uh, uh, another hand. Okay, so this is the way to uh, wipe the screen pattern, passcode, and Google account blocking your screen. Also, this uh, it helps the motherboard to uh, function properly. Sometimes some phones uh, just get stuck on this uh, T-Mobile logo, and all the phone is um, powered off simultaneously. Then uh, you can perform a hard reset using those three buttons and that helps the phones to um, uh, fully power on and uh, works better so and sometimes if that is if that is the problem uh, you can perform the hard reset up to four times or five times okay so uh, you have any other questions uh, please uh, let me know um, i'm gonna upload a video on how to uh, turn off or disable the talk back mode on this Samsung Galaxy Note 3 um, and it is going to take a few moments so uh, maybe up to five to eight minutes but it's going to take me to the home main screen so uh, you can select English as a language accessibility just go next uh, so far it's not SIM card on it but you can install your software I mean so your SIM card and external memory card at this point uh, because it won't happen anything, don't worry about it. Uh, basically, it's already uh, on your phone. So just insert your SIM card, go next. Uh, you're asking me a Wi Fi because no network on this phone, but when you insert your SIM card, you will have internet for that. So don't worry about it. You can create your Samsung account and back up, or you can skip that one. You can add your Google account or just say no, later, not now, uh, next. You can name your phone. Okay. 
now just keep this and you can select your own name but the Samsung the, the model is SMN900T finish close and we are on the main screen the home screen okay thank you so much for choosing my channel uh, good job you did it you did it yourself so give yourself a hug because you did a hard reset your phone um, thanks so much for choosing um, Clavio leadership and I look forward to keep helping you thank you